guys, welcome back to my channel. My name, or welcome to it. You might be new here. Um, my name's Marla. Today's video is gonna be me pretty much clearing out my closet again. I don't know where these mass hordes of clothes are coming from because I don't honestly buy clothes that often. It just accumulates, so I don't know. You guys seem to really like these cleaning videos and they're therapeutic for me too because it just like revamps my space and I'm in my bedroom a lot. So it's like, if my bedroom feels clean, I just feel better even though like most of the time my bedroom's not clean. I'm gonna work, I'm working on that. 2021 goals. So um, I'm gonna be cleaning out my closet today. Uh, gonna be a lot of time lapses and if you guys are into that, then stick around. Um, a lot of you guys, I think on the last video, you guys were asking about like, what do I do with all the excess amounts of clothes? And what I normally do with it is I first give it to my little sister Amanda because we're like the same size and she also has like really cool style and she's, she's turning 13 tomorrow. That's crazy. So she'll go through that. And then whatever she doesn't like, I either take to DI or I sell it on Depop. So then with Depop, the way that works is I just take pictures of the clothing items, like I'm wearing them, and then I airdrop all the photos to my mom, and then my mom handles all the shipping, shipping? My mom handles all like the shipping and handling and the entire account pretty much, and so then she just gets all the proceeds from that. So it's just like, uh, yeah, I, my clothes goes to, it doesn't go to waste. It's, a, no, I always get the days confused, it's Monday. I have Mondays off now because of my schooling, and so Mondays always feel like Saturdays now, and then Saturdays feel like Thursdays, and Fridays don't feel like Fridays because it's Saturday that I have school and it's crazy. Yeah, today's Monday. I'm gonna be working on this pretty much the entire day, probably. But I remember when we did like that room makeover video, like a lot of the comments that were hate comments were like, you talk too much. So I'm just gonna <laughs> shout up now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna like let you guys watch the time lapses. So let's get started. So it's February and with Utah, the weather's so hit or miss, but around like late March, I feel like it starts getting a lot warmer. Like that's when the temperature starts significantly changing. So I thought now would be a good time to start clearing out like my old winter coats and either putting them in storage downstairs, storage, storage downstairs, or getting rid of them. So I'm really transitioning my closet into like spring and summertime. Yeah, I just feel like there's also a lot of clothing in here that I just straight up, like I just don't find myself wearing this often. Forever, it's a chicken suit. <laughs> Okay, also, um, I don't really have closet doors. I don't like these curtains because this rod has fallen on my head multiple times. Do I have a concussion? You figure that out for yourself. Yeah, see that? Imagine that clunking on my noggin. It's not fun. I have like an obscene amount of these backpacks. Like it's gross. Like when I went through that phase in 2017 where all I would use are these. Me and Visco. Okay, this jumpsuit. Did I ever look good in it? Yeah. Oh yeah, what? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I wear to Coachella. I feel like someone else could make good use of it. Like I don't see myself. Mm. Okay, this I haven't worn in like ever. If it's not a heck yes, it's a heck no. This is a heck no. I remember this had its time. I felt so hot when I wore this one time. I don't know what I was. This is from my like Kmart. This is so unfortunate because I think about all the times I've ever worn these dresses feeling confident and then you look at me and you're like, like, this is cute. This would be cute with and then like my nail tech. Okay, we're gonna keep this. Um, this is cute, but I don't see myself wearing it to church. Homecoming dress. This was like 30 bucks from Dillard's. And it served me well for the night, but like, unless like I'm a, like a bachelorette at a Christmas party, like I don't see myself wearing this again. Okay, I actually really like this dress and think it's gonna be fun during the summertime. We're gonna keep this. I just, I think I bought this like not right before quarantine, but like around that time period. And then like church got like shut down and now we're like back in church, but it's like weird and half and half and I don't know. We're just gonna keep it. This is a no. I wore this in Yellowstone, but I just... This is a no too, even though it's a cute color. The scoop neck is a little too low. So it like literally shows my bra line, like the actual bra. And so it's like, I am constantly readjusting when I wear this. Um, um, this prom dress was supposed to be my prom dress that never got worn to prom, but it's fine. Um, I, it's been sitting in my closet for almost a year now because I got it in like April, March-ish of 2020. COVID hit, but then I think in the back of my head, I was like, oh, this might be over like within the next few weeks. I had high hopes. Those were quickly obliterated. Yeah, so this dress has just been sitting in my closet and if you want it, I'll be selling it on Depop. This is another dress. I got this from this such a random company. I don't even remember the name of it. And I remember their sizing being super weird. So this is a size large. My point is though, is I wore this a lot during the summer and I actually really, really loved it. So I'm going to keep it. I love the bodice on it and like the cup lining. I think that's so pretty and it's very subtle. Okay, and then up next is this dress. This dress I had had my eye on for so long, I feel like. I had seen it like on Instagram ads all the time. The company's called Petal and Pup and they have really, really pretty dresses. And, and 
Anyway, I saw this one and I finally, I think it went on sale for Black Friday. So I purchased it and I haven't worn it out of the house. So I know that like um, me and two of my friends were wanting to do like a faux sweetheart stance where it's just us three girls hanging out and like going stag to our literally just us hanging out but like dressing up and having fun so i think i might wear this for that i might make like a get ready with me video if you guys would want that then let me know i think that'd be fun but i'm going to definitely keep this okay up next is this puffer coat and this was from i think this was from ross i'm gonna keep that and it's still pretty cold so i'm going to keep my warm coats for now yeah remember how i said i was gonna put all my hangers in one spot no, it's all on the floor. Once again, I feel like I haven't had the opportunity to really wear my summer dresses because it's been so cold. So I'm going to keep this. I know I seem a little unsure about it, but it's because I am. Up next is this shirt. I actually got this from Target like the other day, but I got a size medium because I wanted it to be a little bit longer, but then I feel like it's a little too big around me. Okay, up next is this. I got this from the company Breath of Youth. Youth, youth of Breath. Stinky breath. Anyway, I got this from the Breath of Youth Company and I actually really love it. It's just a white dress. It looks very cottagecore-esque, but like, I love it. Okay guys, here's the iconic Unif sweater. I used to wear this all the time when I first purchased it. I think it was 2018. I had brown hair, but I haven't worn it in so long that I just feel like it's such a high quality sweater that could be going to someone else. So I'm gonna be getting rid of it. It served me well. It had a good, it had its time. Okay, this is a North Face ski coat and it's super nice, but I think like it's just taking up unnecessary space in my closet. So I'm just gonna put this in storage because if I ever do ghost skiing or sledding or snowboarding or anything of the sort, not that I have and ever, I think I went skiing once and it was so tragic and I vlogged it actually and I was literally in tears. Okay, I actually forgot I own these black pants right here, but for my nail tech school, I'm only allowed to wear black pants. Well, I can wear jeans on Fridays or Saturdays, but most of the week I have to wear black pants as our dress code. So I'm gonna keep these actually, cause they're probably gonna get put to good use now. Okay, so I've gone through my closet and it is a lot emptier, but I feel like everything in this closet I actually wear like on the daily. So that feels great. Um, I'm now gonna go ahead and organize what's here and like separate it by different sections. So I'm gonna have my dresses over here, my coats right here, my long sleeves and then short sleeves. So I'm gonna start with that and, and then I'll zoom in. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna read really quickly like do these all of my books are up there they're already organized and then my closet's now done <laughs> not my closet i need to do my shoes but that won't take long all of my clothing's done and decluttered but i would love to get uniform hangers so i might run to target and like vlog me just picking some of those up most of my clothes which feels great and I'm now moving on to my shoes so I'm gonna I don't think I'm getting rid of any of my shoes because I wear almost well we'll see but I'm gonna organize some of this and then put some onto the extra shoe rack that I have down in my closet now so I'm gonna work on that oh my gosh I need my car key <laughs> Evelyn and I are taking a break from filming because Evelyn has a college online class and I need to run to Target to pick up some hangers and command strips and then I was probably gonna grab some food too. So yeah, I'm switching to like a little vlog portion. I'm wearing my Target sweater, my thrifted jean jacket, a bucket hat, Princess Polly jeans, and New Balance shoes. So that's the fitness of the day. Perfect, thank you. I can just have you pull to the very end of the yeah, perfect. Thank you. Ready. Thank you. Just waiting for my salad. I it's almost one and I haven't eaten yet and I'm starving Marvin. I'm 
very hungry. I'm just listening to the What We Said podcast. It's an advice column and I just started it. So we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, I got my food. This is the wild rice and kale salad from Cubbies. I feel like I've shown this so many times, but I absolutely love it. It's so filling and I don't feel gross after I eat it. So I love it. I'm gonna put on the dressing, listen to my podcast, and then I'm going to head into Target. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay guys, so I just got back from Target and I picked up some wooden hangers. They, this was the last box that they had and there's only 25 in here and I have more than 25 pieces of clothing in here. So another day I'm just gonna have to pick up more but I thought we could start with this. So I'm gonna exchange the hangers and do that right now and then after I do the hangers, I'm gonna reorganize my jeans. I don't need to declutter those because I already did that like maybe two weeks ago. So I'm gonna just refold those and then we'll be good. So let's go. Now I'm done with the hangers, they're all gone. I'm gonna go and actually order more online like right now so then in the next few days I can finish this up. I got like this first half done and I just think already it looks a lot cleaner. Like I, don't, I didn't realize how big of a difference it would make. So yeah, they're just from Target. And then I'm gonna do the second half when the hangers arrive and now I'm going to work on my jeans and my pants up here. I'm literally sweating. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up my closet clean out. Um, I, it just feels really clean and it feels simple. And I love that like no matter what piece of clothing I pick up, I can genuinely say that like I wear it often and I love it and it's a heck yes. So that feels great. Um, and then my shoes are organized, it's clean. I just took down the curtain iron rod thing because it just, I feel like it made it look more cluttery than it needed to be. So voila. Doeys. I can leave. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, and I hope this video inspired you to maybe go clean out your own closet or not. I don't know. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm so sweaty. I'm like sweating bullets. Yeah.